there be no peace. Ain't gonna be no peace in this city. In this city. Fifteen years ago, I was chairperson of Neighborhood Watch. I was working with the Fresno Police Department in West Fresno. One night I got pulled over off of Kings Canyon and East Street. So when people tell you that police, they've been messed over by police, listen to them. Because as Neighborhood Watch chairperson, my community was telling me that the police was misusing them and pulling them over and treating them like a doormat. And I didn't believe them. Because I was chairperson of Neighborhood Watch. All right. So the night came when my card was full. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to talk straight today. All right, that's right, that's right, that's right. That's right. That's right. I'm not here to sugarcoat nothing. Tell me, that's right. Yes. Let it all out. Make it play. The police officer, my car turned off in the street. Uh. And we talk about police supposed to be public servants to us when we in time of need. Me and my two children were in time of need. And two officers come out of the bushes and they said, what are you doing? And I knew the officer who was talking to me because he was in the neighborhood watch me. And he knew who I was. And I had my four-year-old son and my eight-year-old daughter in the car at that time. And the officer said, you need to get this car out of here. And I said, well, sir, I'm having problems. He walked away. Mm. My brother here said, we pay their salary. Yep. Uh -huh. We pay their house note. Yep. We pay put food on their table. Yeah. We send their kids to college. Yeah. And I'll be damned if you won't talk to me in front of my children like I'm some kind of doormat. Yes. That's right. Yes. Yes. That's I right. told my children, find some pencil and paper. I want this officer name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. And before we found a pen and pencil, there were eight cop cars hitting the corner with their lights on. Wow. Jumped out of the car with shotguns. K-9 dogs came up to my car window with my little babies in there, put guns to their head. Yeah. So for those of you who think that police brutality in the media don't exist, hell, it exists because I experienced it. That's Amen. right, first thing. All right. Amen. I experienced that. <clears throat> and because I knew, had a little battery on my phone, I started calling people in the community because I was scared for my little babies. They could have shot me, but then my children would have been traumatized. Yes, sir. That night, me and my children had to look down a barrel of a gun. And I will never forget that night. And then I understood what my community was telling me. But until it happened to me, that's right. I'm gonna say that again. Until it happened. Until it happened to me. Then I was a believer. Many people in Fresno, here in this city, and Clovis, think that police brutality don't exist here. <laughs> I'm tired of burying young men in this community and mothers walking up to the casket saying, "Why did they shoot him?" He didn't have a gun. That's right. He didn't have a weapon. Why did they shoot him? I could have been the same statistic. That's right. So we're not here just for a gathering. We're here for business today. That's right. That's right. And we're here for business tomorrow. That's right. And we're here for business for this day forward. Amen. Yes. 